Well, I guess it's time to go and uh, chase some birds. Well, actually, no, I don't think we're chasing these birds. They're chasing each other. We're going to sit in a blind and hopefully get some uh, some decent photographs and uh, video of these birds uh, doing the dance on the lack. Hard to believe at this time of morning anybody can get up and go dancing. <laughs> we'll see what happens. After meeting my guide uh, in a parking lot in Wainwright around 4.30 in the morning, uh, we headed out just south of Wainwright for about a half an hour and arrived at the uh, Leck location. I have to say that during the drive in, I was a little worried that, well, are the birds going to be on site? Obviously, they were. They were already gathered in front of these uh, wonderful little blinds that the society had built, and uh, we were able to watch all the action unfold right in front of us. Now, this is the first time I've ever witnessed firsthand uh, the breeding activities of uh, sharp-tailed grouse, so I wanted to get a better understanding of what was going on and where it was taking place. So I reached out to Dr. Doug Manzer. He's a senior biologist with the Alberta Conservation Association. It's really uh, an animated dance, isn't it? Because you can often get anywhere from five to, you know, 30 or even 40 birds dancing on a given, um, in a given space, which is called a lek. And uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of synchronicity among the individuals on there. And there's actually, if you were to think of it in, from an overhead view, each of those males has a territory on that space. And, uh, and they sort of basically defend the perimeter of their small territories against their neighbors. And um, that dancing is part of the animation to, uh, I think, the display to females potentially, but also to display vigor probably to each other and potentially domination. Here you can see the hen, the one without the tail up, is being courted by a number of males. And despite their best showing, well, looks like they got the cold shoulder. When it comes time to selecting a lex site, it appears the female will make the ultimate decision. The actual physical characteristics characteristics of the lek. In general, you'll find them in, um, in well, open areas, um, but I believe that the males uh, will congregate in an area and then use one location year over year, but I believe that location is largely centered on the habitat that is selected by the hens at a broader scale. So the area within, say, you know, a kilometer and a half of that lek um, if you were to put a, a radius around that lek, you're looking for areas that have good nesting cover, good broodering cover, and the actual location of the lek um, is not as important as the characteristics that uh, are important for breeding for the females. Well, despite having to get up at oh dark 30 this morning, I have to say that uh, coming out to this lek site to watch these sharp-tailed grouse uh, perform their mating dance has been absolutely worthwhile. I really need to uh, thank the uh, Wainwright Wildlife Society for, uh, well, first of all, managing this facility. They've got these great blinds we can sit in and uh, just watch the action unfold in front of us. Just a tremendous opportunity. Really enjoyed it. Till next time, everyone. We'll talk to you real soon.